Well, we're back again for another Free Agent Friday. Today, I've got Matt Trust with me. Thanks, Matt, for joining me. Oh, thanks for having me. Great thing you're doing here with uh, the free agency. Love it. Yeah, no, it's, we've been getting a great response so far, so hopefully we can help get you some, some exposure. If you can, kind of give us um, you know, a little bit of background, where you went to school, and kind of any internships that you've done up until this point. For sure. So graduate of Shippensburg University in Pennsylvania, a uh, bachelor is in 2018 in communication journalism with the PR emphasis area, and then stayed at SHIP for two more years, completed a master's of science in strategic communications just about a month ago. Uh, so that's, uh, that's been a great six year run of school. I, I think I can finally put an end to uh to education though for now in a, for class now, a little now. break <laughs> <laughs> yeah ready to put it to work right for sure so what is kind of your um idea uh, ideal career path yeah the dream job uh is to be a pr director for a national hockey league team uh okay. and uh that's kind of been the mindset for I would say about five or six years now. That's been the goal in mind. What is it about NHL? Are you just a big hockey fan or? Yeah, always grew up watching hockey. Uh, it was always more than a sport, but a religion to me, honestly. <laughs> uh, my parents, uh, just growing up in the Lehigh Valley area at the time, you could either drive an hour and a half to Philadelphia uh, and see the Flyers, or you can drive the same distance to Hershey and see the Hershey Bears play at a much cheaper Price. So my parents took me to Hershey from a very young age, and that's where I kind of fell in love with the sport. So now you're a lot younger than me. I grew up in Lancaster, so I went to Hershey Bears games as a kid as well. So, but when I went, it was like Hershey Park Arena, and you're probably too young to have been to Hershey Park Arena. I'm taking it. So I was seven years old when they made the transition over from Hershey Park Arena to now it's Giant Center. They still use Hershey Park Arena as a practice venue whenever uh since giant center is a multi-purpose facility so whenever you have a concert or whatnot come through they'll have to shift practice over to the old barn for a few days but that's a lot of care <laughs> in that arena oh yeah I, I remember it fondly i was just it's funny i just saw something on uh, amazon prime there was a, a documentary on the hershey bears uh history which i thought was pretty cool because it's it's very uh rich but jump into um your sports experience. I, I know you were with, um, you know, the minor league baseball team for a little bit. Um, tell us about what you did there. Absolutely. So I was fortunate enough to spend a summer with the Pulaski Yankees uh, under the direction of their uh, fantastic GM Betsy Haw down there. Uh, so helped out with media relations uh, for the club in addition to stadium operations. Ended up getting the job at uh, the winter meetings. Uh, it was where I interviewed for it. And right off, uh, right after I got off the plane, when I came back from, it was in Orlando, Florida that year, uh, I got the phone call saying I would be joining the Pulaski Yankees for that summer uh, to help out. So really neat dynamic just with the GM and an assistant GM and seven interns. So the interns run the show and it's- That's how the staff is? Yeah. Wow. It's a lot of responsibility for you then too as an intern, which is great. It was a great, uh, great learning environment. What other kind of stuff did you have to do outside of just uh, your PR stuff? I'm sure you had to kind of mix around with some other stuff. Yeah, there was nothing quite like uh, being up in the press box and you're doing your your basic social content. You're uh, you're going through the notes. I would also kind of work as like a statistician to the uh, radio play-by-play -play broadcaster for the Pulaski Yankees as well uh, while the games were going on. And then if the rain would start to fall, being on standby to just completely vacate the laptop and run down into uh, <laughs> into a torrential downpour for the heroic <laughs> carpool. So that's uh, something you look back at and uh, you, you take a lot of pride in it that you were able to, to be a part of all that. That's the one thing I'm not looking forward to. I am, this is my first year in, in baseball in minor league baseball and uh, I keep hearing about the tarp. So I'm, I'm like, uh, I don't know about that one, but, yeah. uh, so it didn't eat me. So I was happy to survive it without getting a eat up once. <laughs> yeah. I've seen some of those videos, the guys at the office showed me, so it can be a little dangerous sometimes. So you got a good variety of, 
experience there. And then how did you end up in Hershey with the Bears? So I was actually that snot-nosed intern that never went away, in a sense. <laughs> uh, I interned for Hershey for three years, my sophomore, junior, and senior year of college at SHIP. Uh, what started as a game days uh, arena operations internship for uh, improving the the execution for a game night experience, it then transitioned into uh, a PR focused internship my senior year. Uh, and I was really fortunate where uh, once I graduated, I was in Pulaski with the Yankees for that one summer. And about a month in, I got a phone call from my former supervisor in her. She's saying, we're gonna make this a full-time position. And it's because of the work you put in uh, you're going to be the first person we call if you want it, it's yours. So then it turned into uh, the new position created in Hershey, the media coordinator for the team, which would co-oversee PR and communication efforts uh, in addition to the play-by-play -play voice of the Bears, Zach Fish. She worked as my boss, uh, as the, who was the manager of broadcasting and media relations. So two seasons in that gig, uh, it was my first full-time job. I was thrilled to be 22 years old at the time, out of school, going from an internship in pro baseball, and once the season ended for baseball, to transition into hockey. Uh, so that was a great two seasons. Uh, unfortunately, laid off uh, in June because of the current situation, but uh, that was a, a great run with them. Yeah, and, you know, such a great franchise, too, to be learning from. I mean, they've got some great people there. What do you think, you know, the biggest skills that you're going to bring to your next position? I think passion is a big one for me. I think many who have worked with me in the past, they know that once my mind is on something, once I'm really passionate about a project, it's full systems go. And I'm not content until the task at hand is met and I've done everything possible I can do to make a task uh, as successful as possible, whether it's putting work into writing game notes, whether it's hosting the media for an event, setting up press row, uh, just being a, a good advocate for our team so our players are looked at uh, in the public in as positive light as possible. Uh, for me, just bringing all my focus and all my energy to that. How about on the flip side of that? You know, what's, what's the biggest areas you need to improve on? I think my biggest weakness is that I don't celebrate wins enough. Uh, when you accomplish something, I think my mind maybe too soon goes to, okay, that's great. Now what's next? Uh, I, I think I could do a better job just, even if it's for a few moments, just taking that step back I think of reflection and just really enjoying the experience, enjoying the win before moving on immediately to, okay, what's next? What do we have to accomplish next? How would you define success? I think success is honestly defined by this happiness. Are you happy as an individual with the job that you did? If you look around, if you look back, do you have any regrets? The people around you, what's their reaction? Are they content? Ultimately, from a PR aspect, yes, we want to sell tickets, but it's all about the fan experience. It's about selling our product in a way that people are content with being a fan of this team. They're content with the fan experience. Are they happy? Are they receiving in their mind bang for their buck in terms of the overall experience from the moment that you walk into the arena? So I, I think all of that falls under success. Yeah, I like it. I like it. What will stand out about you, you know, in this, you know, hunt, you know, when someone's looking through um, candidates, what, what is it about you um, that you feel is going to stick out? I always try to be as well-rounded as possible with my skill set in being an effective communicator. Uh, 
verbally, but also being able to tell stories visually through the ability uh, on Adobe Creative Cloud pro uh, products for Adobe InDesign, Photoshop, uh, Audition. Having a background knowledge in all of that, I think nowadays is really, really key. Uh, yeah. And just the ability that uh, managers over the years give me assignments and each and every time there's just that confidence factor where it's like, I know if I give trust this assignment, he's gonna take it, he's gonna run with it, do a great job, he's gonna follow up if he has any questions and try to make the most and make the best out of what we need him to do. Very good. How about um, something more personal? Like give us a fun fact about yourself. Like let's get to know Matt here. Yeah, uh, so let's see. Before focusing on PR, uh, the goal was to be a play-by-play -play broadcaster uh, for a National Hockey League team before making the, the transition over. So, I mean, I, I'm totally that person that in the shower is doing play-by-play -play to himself uh, for a, nice. a hockey game that I might have watched last <laughs> night or, uh, or a big baseball game uh, as a, I guess, guilty pleasure. I'm a diehard New York Mets fan as well. So uh, their SNY broadcaster, Gary Cohen, to me is like the voice of God. So uh, <laughs> doing his home run calls in the shower is, uh, you know what, I'm a grown man, but I'm not ashamed of it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. You know, what, uh, what area are you open to, you know, you kind of, you went to college in PA, you're from PA. Are you looking to stay in Pennsylvania or are you open to relocating? Are you open to other sports? What, what do you kind of see um, that next step? Yeah, absolutely open to, to relocating. Uh, it's a big world and uh, I want to see as most of it as possible. Uh, and I also, I know that this is such a competitive industry and I think the more that I would, if I were in the mindset of, I just want to stay in PA, then I know that really limits me into what are the different possibilities out there for the different franchises and different organizations I can land in. So I'm young, uh, I'm ready to go anywhere where the job takes me. Uh, sport wise, hockey is my first love. Baseball is a close second for me. Uh, but anywhere that I can go to learn the fundamentals or learn more in detail as well of just front office operations for a, a pro sports franchise sounds like a great destination for me. No, that's good. It's good to be flexible, especially right now. And, you know, kind of still continue to, to learn and develop and, and find that niche. I mean, cause you know, you're, you're a step or two away from, you know, that, that end goal. There's going to be a couple stops in between there, I'm sure. So keep, keep working hard and keep in touch. I appreciate you joining me today. Oh, absolutely. Again, great thing that you are doing here. I appreciate it. And I know there's, there's many others that uh, are thrilled for this platform you're putting together for them.